matter what Pokemon LP I'm doing. Uh, in Fire Red, I don't particularly remember anyone getting too mad over my last team member. But in Crystal, some people said that Dragonair was too overdone. Uh, in Emerald, people called my apps all useless, and my god, did I prove them wrong on that when I got to the Elite Four. Uh, but this time, it's no exception. A lot of people are not happy that I chose Granbull for my last member. Some people were saying that if I wanted something else to do the Earthquake strategy, I should have gone for Vibrava and, you know, did the Flygon thing like I was saying I was going to. And it doesn't affect Mr. Evis! And it doesn't affect Delibird either. But, um, a lot of people were saying that I shouldn't have gone for Granbull, I should have gone for Vibrava. And the thing is, I already use, like, the big bad dragon type in Crystal, and the thing is, I already have Espeon on my team who I also used in Crystal, so I'm trying not to reuse ideas from Crystal, because I couldn't really help Espeon all that much, because I didn't really want to use Umbreon, and Espeon was kind of the only other starter that I had left. So, that's kind of my thinking there, is that I didn't want to, like, reuse too much from Crystal. So, Vibrava's great, don't get me wrong, I never denied how good it is. Why did I target Delibird? But yeah, I never denied that... I never will deny that Vibrava is awesome. It is fantastic. <laughs> I'm sorry, anyway. But yeah, I was never knocking Vibrava. It's a fantastic Pokemon. I just don't want to like have a team that's exactly the same as my Crystal team. That's kind of my thinking. But yeah, it's just... Aside from that, I've explained my reasons for Gramble. Having Intimidate... Oh, oh, that is interesting. Sorry. Uh, actually, I don't want to learn that now. I'll, I'll go over Parish Song in a minute, though, but that's mainly what I'm saying is that I get one of my reasons. Intimidate's wonderful to have. Combine that with 120 attack. The fact that I could give it, you know, return after its happiness is up. Strength is already a great move to have on a Pokemon right off the bat when you first get it. It's just like, I don't know. I don't really see what the issue is here. I like my Grand Bull, and I'm glad I picked it. It's one-hitted some really good stuff. Uh, if you want to force your opponent to switch out, for whatever reason, it's a great move for doing that. So if there's a really annoying Pokemon on the field and you think you can stall it for three turns, typically the AI will switch out, and if they don't, well, that Pokemon's just going away for good. So it's a, it's a good item, and wow, I don't have, like, any Pokeballs left. <laughs> um, do Scary Face on it, just for the sake of doing Scary Face on it so that I get to attack it first with Bramble, should I want to do anything else to it. I don't know why I would, but... I don't know, I just, I like lowering some stat on each turn when I'm catching a Pokemon, even if I know it's not doing much good. Wow, it like sproinged back up. I like how it was just flapping one arm and now it's just standing in the air and now it's flapping one arm again and then it just belly flops down on you to use fly. I don't know, I always thought the fly animations were so weird though because the Pokemon's always like standing in place for like a split second when the tech says like, Delibird, use fly. Never understood that, but hey. Uh, how about, you know what? doing fly so much, we should probably do confusion. That way to lower its chances of doing fly successfully to only about 25%. Uh, we'll use the Ultra Ball. I don't want to use my Timer Balls. I probably should go buy some more Pokeballs after this, to be perfectly honest with you, because we're going to be snagging, like, tons of Shadow Pokemon for the rest of the game. So let's see. Do I get Delibird? One! No. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! One, two, three. Oh, come on! One. How hard is it to catch a freaking Deli Bird? One. Can you attack yourself? My god! One. Jeez! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! It has not even attacked itself one time! Hi. Okay, uh, just saying, all I have left is one Timer Ball and one Pokeball. That is all I have left. I have nothing else left. This freaking Delibird has drained me of, like, everything I have. Are you serious? Am I going to fail at catching a Delibird? Are you really that cruel? I succeeded at catching all the legendary Pokemon that are throughout here. Succeeded at catching every single one of them. And I'm gonna fail at catching a deli bird. Are you really this cruel game? Let's use scary face on it. Let's 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 actually try to weaken it a little bit more. Because this is the last ball that I have right here. This is stupid. Why is it giving me such a hard time? This is Deli Bird! Deli Bird sucks! It is one of the worst Pokemon! It's widely recognized competitively as being a joke. I mean, 
Aside from its speed, it has no stat over 65, and it never evolves into anything better. It's just like, why am I having trouble with this of all things? Let's use Protect, and let's... Yeah, we'll just do Scary Face one last time, because I don't want to damage it, and I would like Poison to take a little bit more of a toll on it before I actually try catching it. So we'll do that. I don't remember if, uh, if Poison actually does increase your chances of catching a Pokemon. I know the Paralysis and Sleep do, as does Freeze, but I don't remember if Poison or Burn do. I don't know. I'll look it up. But... Yeah, this is ridiculous. Why am I having such trouble here? You know what? Just to show my frustration, I'm going to go boom on this thing on Walnut's turn, and then I'm going to have Munchkin do the Pokeball. So, if it doesn't catch, you will feel my frustration, okay? I'm going to get to heal right after this battle anyway, because i got to go leave to go get the Pokeball, so let's see. Come on. One. Two. Three! Oh, yeah! Pokeball caught it! Oh, my God! Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Again, the Pokeball comes through for me. Oh, man. Oh, man.